In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing episode 6, Every Feather of Mayor of Kingstown. Now, this episode gets right into it. A riot breaks out at the prison, and everything is going crazy. The whites, the blacks, the Latinos are all getting into a fight. And we find that the whites actually wanted to target one black prisoner. And they stabbed this one black prisoner at least 15 times in the chest. But one of the guards, uh, Sam, who had a sort of beef with one of the former prisoners in the beginning of the series actually accidentally shoots the black man in the back with three shots. So then that progresses into trying to figure out what to do with Sam. So evidently he's actually transferred and now is now going to work at the women's prison. Now all the while <laughs> Mike gets calls from the whites, the blacks, and trying to figure out what's happening to put everything in order. His day just started and his phone is going off like crazy and he can't understand it. And it, seeing Mike come full circle, and this is only the six episodes, is really, really interesting because he's trying to make peace with everything happening. But he you know, first meets Bunny. And Bunny is just giving to him. He's like, hey, these pecker woods, these crackers, they kill my boy, this and that. If something doesn't happen, you know, we're gonna you know, we're gonna we're gonna kill back. And Mike's like, listen, hey, I have it under control, let me go. And you know, and then uh, Bunny's like, you better meet those pecker woods. And then Mike's like, that's where I'm going next. So Mike then meets with the whites, and you know, he goes and he tries to figure out what's happening, and they give him an ultimatum, this and that. And when anybody tries to give Mike an ultimatum, he takes matters into his own hands and he always like likes to you know put his foot down and say you know don't tell him what to do and that's his character don't tell Mike what to do because he's trying to keep the peace with everything and then all the while he goes to meet with the security guard the uh, head of the security prison and he just you know says like listen we have to understand what's going on we have to not go crazy with things but then you know it's all such a big big case and a story it's really interesting how well this episode was done not only that iris is front and center in this episode and the reason she's front and center in this episode is because she kind of opens her mouth too much too many times no pun intended because her character is a prostitute for that matter now she does get beat up at the strip club by one of milo's right hand men and then she goes to mike for assistance and she points out these congressmen these federal agents who she's sleeping with this and that yada 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 and all the while this is happening uh you know milo wants to meet with mike and the reason Milo meets with Mike is because Milo wants Mike to do a favor for him. And Mike's like, I'm never going to do a favor for you. And then, you know, one of Milo's girls, evidently Candace, is there. And Candace shows Mike a scar right here on the, you know, maybe the left side of the hip. And he finds out that Milo's been tracking Iris this entire time from New York up until now where Kingstown is. So evidently, they find out where Iris is. And all the while during this conversation, Milo was like, I'm going to pluck every feather from her until I get what I want. And, you know, so that's going on craziness and happening. And all the while, Mike calls up his brother and his, the brother's partner and they go to the bar and they beat up Milo's right hand man for doing, you know, beating up Iris. And Mike just levels the shit out of him. Of course, you could tell he's getting his anger out because there's only one way to get his anger out is to beat up this one guy because of the events that's happening during the day. So other than that, you know, we find that the FBI had a mole in their agency, so to speak. And then, you know, the two FBI uh, agents that were killed that actually offered Mike a compensation of being a, uh, you know, informant, they're dead. Iris is gone, so all this is happening. It's really, really crazy. It's a really, really crazy episode. Not only that, we finally get to see Miriam, the mother to Mike and Kyle, and basically she finds out that the pizza restaurant shootout happened, and she tries to figure out, like, you know, why is Kyle doing this? He's not supposed to be, you know, he's supposed to be understanding, just living, you know, being, being comfortable, not getting into trouble all the time. So the mother... Miriam was like, listen, you have to understand what you're doing or you're going to get yourself killed. And, you know, she, you know, I was like, you're on administrative leave, but you have a fucking gun. You have a fucking badge. Why are you doing this? You know, you're, you were with Mike, weren't you? So Kyle just, you know, lashes out at his mother. He's like, you don't talk like that unless you're with Mike. And, you know, hey, she knows the family. She knows her sons really, really well. 
So it's great to see how even though she had one scene in this, but it was very impactful for her. And listen, Taylor Sheridan wrote a phenomenal episode and it took a while for this season to get going, I wanna say. And I have to say that episode six was that one episode where Boom, holy shit, everything just happens in one episode with every different character. And it's like the turning point, the halfway point of, okay, what's going to happen now? I like how this episode was done with the riot that happened in the beginning with that being its own story. Mike trying to figure that out. But not only that, Mike trying to understand Iris' role and character in this whole episode as well. Anytime Iris came on the show, I used to fast forward her scenes because her scenes were so dull and you know, annoying at times because the character is just so annoying. But, you know, <laughs> once she got what she deserved evidently, you know, for being that annoying character, then things started happening. And now we don't know what's going to happen now with her character. I feel like her character's in there just to be in there, just to give Mike an ultimatum because of Milo. And Aiden Gillian, the actor that plays Milo, uh, it plays a phenomenal, phenomenal villain in any show or any movie he's in. But now he's going to be front and center, and I feel like he's going to be a threat to Michael. But I feel like Mike knows what he's doing with Milo. So anything is possible with this show now because we have a turning point, and this episode was a turning point. Every feather, the sixth episode of Mayor of Kingstown, was a turning point, which is a very, very good thing. I absolutely love this episode, and I love the writing, and I love the layers this episode had from how it started to how it ended, and everything just came together and was one big, big story, and Mike was in every single scene, and Jeremy Renner is fantastic in this show. Seeing him do this, which is a gritty, in-your-face thriller, to <laughs> seeing him do Hawkeye, it's two totally different side-by-sides, and you really, really see the depth of how Jeremy Renner acts, and it's really, really good. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about episode six, Every Feather of Mayor of Kingstown. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? And where do you see this show going from here? What do you think is gonna to happen to Mike's character? Where do you see every other character you know, going from here on out? And who do you see actually dying? You know, Let me know in the comment section below, because I'm really curious to hear your answers, because I'm, even surprised because I don't even know what's going to happen in this series or the season finale. So let me know in the comment section below about the questions I just asked and I'll see you guys in the next review video and be sure you tune in next week for my episode 7 review of Mayor of Kingstown.